Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. I am in Booth Bay, Maine in New England. This is a beautiful place. Today is an extremely special day because we're taking a boat to a place called Cabbage Island. Every day they host this gigantic New England clam bake. Let me show you what 298 lobsters looks like. There's gonna be lobsters, there's gonna be clams, there's gonna be corn, there's gonna be chowder. It's gonna be an entire culinary experience. We're gonna, well, we're about to take the boat. We're gonna experience the full clam bake and I cannot wait to share this ultimate New England food experience with you in this video. We've already made reservations ahead of time. You gotta book maybe weeks or even months ahead of time, but we have reservations, and this is where you then pay at the front box here. It's $69.25 per adult, $72.50 per adult with tax. And here's our menu. We're gonna have New England fish chowder, two lobsters per person, steamed clams, corn on the cob, potato, egg, and onion, and then famous blueberry cake. So that's all included. Boat ride to Cabbage Island, plus all the food and the entire clam bake experience. How long is the boat ride? 55 minutes. Oh, all right, yeah. cool. Do a nice tour of the park. Here we go. There's our boat to Cabbage Island. Our ticket to Cabbage Island to the clam bake. I am extremely excited, number one, because we're gonna be taking a boat to Cabbage Island. Cabbage Island, what a cool name. And then number two, this is gonna be my very first ever New England clam bake. Hello, three of us. Yep, Okay. hold right on to it. Okay, thank you. Our trip over to Many Cabbage hours. Island will take approximately 55 minutes. And along the way, we'll show you all the sights and sounds of Booth Bay Harbor. My name is Larry Gusto, I'll be your captain. Along and we way, are off. We captain Thank is just giving a know. quick introduction. Just came to the front here of the boat to get some photos and some views. Oh, it's so incredibly beautiful. And oh, it's, it's like a really warm day with the sun, but as soon as you get over the ocean and feel that breeze coming off of the sea, it's just chill that just, it's like an AC hitting you. Also for the clam bake today, we are hanging out with Jessica from Cheat Day Eats. Hey guys. What's up, Jessica? What's up? Have you been on a clam bake before? I have never been on a clam bake, and this is like gonna be the perfect place for it. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome, I'm cool. It marks the entrance to the Inner Harbor. That's also one of the oldest stone towers still standing on the automation Burnt line. Island Burnt Lighthouse. <laughs> have you ever been on a clam bake? I have not. I mean, I've had a million clams, but never the full-on clam bake. So I'm quite excited, and I grew up in New England, so I... It's about time. Brian, first time for me, too. First, first clam bake? First clam bake. Mr. Chita eats. Very cool. Cabbage Island covers five and a half acres and it was originally granted to a family here by the government of Massachusetts in the early 1800s. Hello. Hello, very good, thank you. Welcome to Cabbage Island, a beautiful boat ride. Yeah, it took almost an hour. And 
One of the cool things is right as we arrived to Cabbage Island, he did say, uh, as you might expect, Cabbage Island is named after cabbages, which this island, they used to grow cabbages here. Already I'm loving it, it's so beautiful. You can just feel an ultimate peace come upon you. Before doing anything else, before walking around, we're heading straight to the clam bake. Clam bake is right there. And each one of these has their own firebox. And then just above it is a water pan. Holds probably about 25 to 30 gallons of water. Uh, it's all salt water. So the, this tray right here is all your vegetables, corn, onion, wow. potato, and also the egg. Eggs go right on the very top. And the traditional clam bake, they used to use the egg as their timer. They dig a big pit in the sand, get a nice hot fire going, throw rocks into the fire. Then what they do is let everything die down to coals. Once the rocks are red hot, throw a thick layer of seaweed, then put all the vegetables on, seafood on top of it, eggs in the very top, cover it over, let it cook for a while. Then every once in a while pull an egg up and crack it. When the egg was cooked all the way through, they knew that all the food below it was done. That's awesome. Then in the second and third tray, you have all the lobster and clams. They take about an hour or less to cook. And also if somebody does have a shellfish allergy, they can still have all the veggies. Ooh, it is hot right here. You will bake yourself if you stay here for too long. What an incredible location for a clam bake. We're overlooking the sea. We're on this patch of rocks, the forest. It's a perfect, beautiful location. The clam bake is going. Fire is raging at the bottom in between the fire and the food is a, a layer of water. So it does kind of bake and steam and roast probably all at the same time. Just the aroma of the smoke of the fire, the steam coming off of it. It smells so good. You can just smell clams in the air. Uh, one of the techniques that I love is just how they're using the natural kelp, which is actually, I think that's it right there which kind of blankets and covers their pile of food to keep in that steam. But I'm, I, I think it also probably provides some aroma, some fragrance, even maybe some uh, salt water saltiness to whatever you're baking in that clam bake. Wood fires, you don't always get an even heat. Okay. So just by spinning around the back, it's front, front, it's Ah, all right. So you're getting ready to spin the trays. Yeah. Finish. Okay. Uh, this way is much faster because what it does is just, uh, you have a nice, nice, high, controlled heat. Okay. Wow. Into these tinfoil packets stacked right around the edge of the tray. Wow. The right in the middle on the back. How many lobsters is this? Uh, right now we have 296, 298 lobsters on. 298 lobsters. Yep. Wow. Let me show you what 298 lobsters looks like. Oh, and they're so beautiful, so fresh. The aroma, the steam coming out of them, the the, that scent of the seaweed has a huge impact. It's going to have a huge impact on the on the lobster taste themselves, I bet. Oh, I love that hiss, the boiling water, plus the steam and the smoke. Yep. So that was just, uh, they had to spin the trays and then uncover them, release some of that pressure for a little bit and then recover them and about 15 more minutes to go on the bake until the lobsters are ready. Definitely getting close, very close. You guys ready? Clam bake time. Yeah. I think coming here a little bit early to watch the clam bake happening 
only okay. excites yeah. you more and gets your How many do we you're have? ready to eat. 298? 298 lobsters. And I get two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is time. Yeah, I was, I was happy. Believe it or not, I mean, just having them shine. It'll be the same size as those other ones. Okay, so, I mean, it's like... Oh, there's onions in there too. Nice. And there's potatoes along the bottom. Okay, potatoes in the bottom. Got it. No, that's a lot of butter. It is a lot of butter. <laughs> yeah, a day like today, we'll probably go through, oh, maybe 70 or more pounds of butter. 70 pounds of butter. Yeah. Yes. How many pounds of clam? Uh, we'll go through today, we'll go through well, almost 500 pounds of clams today. 500 we'll pounds go through, of clams. We'll go through yeah, yeah, another about 500 lobsters today. Here's the whole basket of eggs that has hard boiled. Perfectly done, perfectly ready. That means everything else is ready. Greg, you want to throw me those cheese balls? Yep. Gonna sound off this air horn. Don't want to jump you guys. Everybody ready? It's time. I think for the rest of my life, when I hear a horn like that, I'll be dreaming of lobster. <laughs> That's the call to lobster. Yes. Everybody's lining up now. It is time. You guys have a system going. Yes. It's almost like we've done it before. <laughs> Took me 25, a few times, 25 right? Twenty-five years. I finally figured to figure it out, out the this assembly line. Yes. Yeah. Got it down now. So they got a really good system. Lobsters go on. And then a packet of clams, and then the final station: corn, potatoes. Hard boiled egg, onion, and then the final step is a little bit of that clam broth and butter. Tray complete. How is it? Very good. Okay, so amazing to see them as they unload those boxes that clam bake the line people are in line getting their lobster platters and all the fixings and everything but actually while i was down there while i was still filming them as they were rotating the lobster troughs uh they served the clam chowder as an appetizer so coming back for the clam chowder first before we jump in line and get our lobster trays there's potato in here clams onions and i think there's also fish in here too Mm. Oh, it's thinner than other chowders that I've had. Thinner but flavorful. The potato just melts in your mouth. Uh, you've got the, the aroma of the clam and the fish in there. A little bit of pepper in. A lot, thank you. I think for them. Yeah, I think we don't have water. Okay, I'm going to try. Yeah, sure. These are the crackers. A few more. Oh yeah, then you've got a crunch, crunch from those. Oh, I do like the fish in this chowder. We're jumping in line. Ready, Jeffrey? Ready. We got a chicken ticket from Micah. Oh yeah. Lobster ticket. For but us. also, we're both Jeffrey and I were quite excited to try the chicken as well, along with the lobster, of course. I guess we got two and two. Double birds. Double birds. Double decker. Thank you very much. You are very welcome. Thank you, you. Oh yeah. Double decker lobsters. Let's go back and conveniently 
we have the table, picnic table, oh, okay. yeah, closest yeah, yeah, yeah. Know, to the clam bake, the closest possible area, table yeah. to the clam bake. The fruits of my first ever clam bake, although we didn't do any of the baking. <laughs> we just came for the eating. The lobster cocktail. Good. Choose your largest claw. Choose your largest, uh, it's gotta be this one. This one right here. It's gonna be it. Do the lobster shot where you pull off the, the claw. You break off the claw, but making sure that this side is down so that you save all the broth, all the liquid on the inside. Crack off the knuckle. We'll come back for that. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. Oh, that wow. So good. Really, that's really sweet. Oh, wow. That's a lot sweeter that's, than the, mm. the last one. That is, you're right. Yeah. The sweetest lobster we've had so far in Lane. Mm. Wow. Immediately, you taste a sweet, briny, lobstery broth that just is filled into that cloth from the ocean. Mmm. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh. And these are all soft shell, he said they're all soft shell you crabs, so you can snap that. You might need a cracker, but, oh yeah, no, you can, you can just pop, right pop your finger in. Revealing, yeah, and also because it is soft shell, so the, the claw will be a little less developed, but the meat should be sweeter and softer and more juicy. Mm. Oh, wow. I mean. It doesn't need butter, but that doesn't mean the butter isn't delicious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think that's the sweetest lobster we've had in Maine so far. Maybe. Yeah. It is Perfect. so sweet. Mm. It is so like ridiculously flavorful and just melts in your mouth. The perfect brininess as well. We've never had a clam bake. We've never had this combination of baked and steamed at the same time. Yeah. Because every other place we've had, it's been, I mean, equally fresh lobsters, mm. but never one cooked this way. It retains all the, all the moisture, it's beautiful, it's tender. Totally. Everything is just sealed into the lobster. It can't escape. And you can taste the smoke. Just gonna take a little quick time out before we can try the clams to put on the proper attire. It might be oh. corn, yeah. Oh. oh. Jessica with a pro tip. <laughs> yeah. Pro tip. Well, Man, the packet of clams, which actually they roast the clams, they bake the clams at the bottom of the lobster. So if anything, the clams accumulate lobster juice, plus that salinity from the seaweed. First clam, open this up. <laughs> I'll do a little pour to keep it in the shell. Cheers. 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 Here we go. Mm. That's so good. Oh. Yeah, these are the best wow. clams I've ever eaten, for sure. Yeah. Wham bam, thank you, Clem. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> it's so perfectly sweet and condensed with flavor. I love that just hint of bitterness to contrast the sweetness. It's phenomenal. I love the texture. You get both the soft and then you get the chewy. Yeah, that's a great tip. We yeah, should, there's another way to eat. Right off, like so you, you pull, pull that as a handle. Pull that. You can see that anatomy of the clam. You have the little, the little neck, the body, yeah, I, I actually don't know any more anatomy on the clam than that, <laughs> but you pull it by this little handle here. Now you have freed, oh. freed the clam. Freed the clam. <laughs> then you dip it into the clam juice to remove any sand or mud. Pull the top off. Now hold the white part and pull the, <laughs> yeah, the necker off. Because I there there you go. Game on. Ah, <laughs> got it. <laughs> I see. There you go. You guys are awesome. <laughs> So there you go. So now you've got this little kind of like membrane-y. Then I dip in the butter. Mm -hmm. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna turn it into a clam chowder. Oh yeah. <laughs> mm. You don't have the grizzle. You just have the that grizzle. sweet, bitter, slightly fragrance of the clam. These are just world-class, like some of the world's best clams. Yeah, I can't wait to try the corn. The only place in New England that I've ever been in my life was Boston, probably when I was a kid, definitely like five years old. But I have vivid memories of the corn. So this will be my first, my second ever piece of corn, but I still remember how good it was. I can still remember back then when I was a kid. Oh. 
Oh wow. It just bursts with salty, with sweet, like unbelievably sweet, soft, tender, milky corn. All oh, that corn is mm, spectacular. Mm. Wow. Some of the best sweet corn you'll ever have. How's everything tasting, guys? Why is your corn so sweet? Oh, well, actually, funny story. Um, the farther up you go north, um, the sweeter the corn will get. Whoa, so wow. up here wow. in Maine, uh, it has some of the best corn in the world. Oh. Yeah. Wow. That is like... That's yeah. a. Mm. We just think it tastes like dessert. It's incredible, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Well, hopefully you guys save a little bit of room. We got our famous Always. blueberry cake. Mm. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna reach into the baked potato next. Oh, it's still so hot. Hot. It's a hot potato. It's still hot. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> oh, even the potato is amazing. It's not. Not too starchy, not dry at all. It's so moist from that clam bake. I think I'm gonna do a, Nobody a potato dip. Like you. It's true. How about a whoopie pie? You like those? A whoopie is a Peel back the onion a little bit. Oh, it's so juicy. Mmm. <laughs> it works. Oh, I got the centerpiece of the mm. onion. Oh. It just popped out into my out. mouth. Like a little projectile. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's so it's so sweet. This one's sweet too. It's so juicy. Okay, let's do a let's do a bite like an apple. Ready? Apple a day keeps the doctor away. Mm. Mm. I love onions. It's so mild, but so sweet. Juice is just pouring out of it. Open it up like this. Right. Do a taco? A lobster? A lobster onion taco? Yes, we are loving it. Good. Thank you. Did you get some good pictures? Very good, yes. A lunion. Lobster <laughs> onion. We've just been exploring all the side dishes, but we have barely even gotten to the lobster, so it's time for the for the tail. Can you do one more tail? Crack that back. Spread. You've totally got it. I'm just trying not to do it too, because I don't want to clean the lens. <laughs> I'm trying to do it kind of gently. Semi-gently. You have freed the tail, and it should just pretty much slide, slide right out. Like, like that. And then dip in the, oh, dip in the, the chunkier part. Mm. Oh wow, the tail is so good, so firm, so just like pure and natural tasting, it's unbelievable. So what you have to do is just kind of pinch it, almost pinch it at the top there. That outer skin. Oh, he's got it. Yeah. <laughs> that outer skin thing just kind of move. slides off, bringing with it that little bit of stuff. Then the rest is just all pure, edible fleshiness. I think there might be a thing as an overdose of the yeah. Lobster claw yes. juice because of the saltiness. Yeah, it is the saltiness. Oh, the juiciness. <laughs> Finally, I don't even know how I, I ended up with the egg as the last piece. I think it was just at the bottom of my tray and I was so excited for everything else, but we've got to try the hard boiled egg. Because this is a piece of history when it comes to the clam bake. And it will be interesting to see, to analyze the egg, if it does accumulate the juices and the flavors of the clam bake. Because it was, what was that at the bottom of? The bottom of the vegetables. Or the bottom of the corn and the potatoes. Yeah. Or was it the top? Okay, I can't even remember. But it was surrounded by seaweed as well, which is another 
potential factor. So this is the final piece of the clam bake. I don't think I taste anything different from a normal hard-boiled egg. It is a good hard-boiled egg, though. Okay, next tail. The slide never gets old, either. The tail slide. Slide away from camera. Yeah. <laughs> Save the lens. Oh, just the muscularity of these tails. Wow, that is the flavor of Maine, just in one single bite that you will never forget. You can taste the quality of that clam bake and what it does to the, how it just transforms and cooks the lobster to perfection and retains all of its juices. Its juices are re-embedded into itself. <laughs> Smoked into itself. Final bite of lobster right on time because the blueberry cake is on its way. Cake man. Wow. Yeah. Say that one more time. People will come out here just for the cake. I mean, it's it's really that good. It's that good. They won't let us divulge the uh, the recipe though. So <laughs> the secret blueberry cake. Secret blueberry cake. That's next. Blueberry cake. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. I've never been huge on desserts or sweets, but I will have one gigantic <laughs> bite to finish off this meal because nobody has said anything bad about this blueberry cake. Everybody raves about it. It's incredible. <laughs> oh. And make sure you get a corner bite too. Mm -mm. Mm. Oh, you're right. It's not dry at all. It's moist, not overly sweet. It's fluffy. I think also after eating all the, the saltiness of the lobsters, mm -hmm. it is the perfect mm. mouth refreshener yeah and that completes the cabbage island clam bake so they ring the bell 4 p.m that signals cabbage island is over we got to get back on the boat and head back to the mainland but i think also what's so cool about this one is how many people they cater to they serve so that's such a massive 200, bake 200 people 298 line. lobsters 15 minutes, they served everybody. That's amazing. Gotta wave us on, guys can Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. As we are leaving, today is a special day because they're having some kind of an event or a get together of traditional windjammers or schooners, pretty much pirate ships that are coming into this bay, sailing, having a meet up, an event here, and then they're actually gonna have an evening Cabbage Island clam bake. But it's so cool to see the giant sails. Oh, they're spectacularly beautiful. That boat right there says 1871. I'm gonna go ahead and say that that is one of the greatest United States food experience, the New England clam bake that you can possibly have. So much fun. The cooking process was so cool. The food was delicious. And on top of the delicious food, what really made the Cabbage Island clam bake experience so special and so memorable is that it's family run. The staff, the owner, the entire family, they're so have such an incredible service mind, so hospitable, so friendly. They just take care of you when you are there. And that's something that stands out along with the clam bake. So highly recommended. This is a must do when you're in Maine. An outstanding experience and well worth it. And that's gonna be it for this video. I wanna say a huge thank you for watching. Also remember to check out, so it was so much fun to hang out with my friend Jessica and Brian from Cheat Day Eats and Jeffrey Marahue from Heroic Italian in Santa Monica. I'll have their information in the description box below, but go follow them, go check them out. Awesome to hang out. And thank you for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below, I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe and also click the little bell icon for lots more food videos. See you on the next video.